It was after the war that the steel band was invented on a little island in the Caribbean. In Trinidad, music wells up from the steel drums. After the Spaniards, the French came with their slaves, and then the English with their Indian workers. From Europe, Africa, the Indies, they all came with their music and their instruments. When the East Indians came here, um, it was like, oh, you have your drums, we have our drums too. And I was like, you have your drum, I have mine. Come bring your drum. It's always the drum, the drum, the tambo bambo, the dustbin cover, the steel band, the, the drum finding a way to become a piano. The drum becoming a piano and still being a drum. There's a whole piano in these steel barrels just plain oil drums. Listen. In the middle, the high notes. The drumsticks leap from section to section, just like hands on a keyboard. To turn a barrel into an instrument, you start by pounding in the top. If you want a bass, you keep the whole barrel. Otherwise, you cut it higher or lower, depending on the register you want it to be in. The tuner will draw a space for each note on the metal, and he tunes them with a hammer. You don't hit a note in the center. You slide into it real gently from the sides. The metal never responds in the same way twice. The drum was African slaves' favorite instrument, but the carnival degenerated into street fights and was outlawed. So they created bamboo bands, drumming on biscuit tins, pots and barrels. The oil boom brought millions of barrels to the island. The steel band lives in the working class neighborhoods of Port of Spain, the capital. For generations now, one of the island's most prestigious bands the Desperados has been coming down to the carnival from the hills of Lavantil. Their ancestors were ruffians. Today, they're the kings of contests like the Panorama, the annual steel band competition. Pat Bishop, a prominent figure in Trinidad, is their artistic director. Well, the, th the thing is really not so much how, how anybody who's trained at all who can read music, that's... The thing is, how do you teach music to people who don't read it? Well, it's, it's the continuation of the oral tradition. Um, either you show it to them on the instrument, or you call the notes for them, or whatever, by whatever means. Booksy Sharp is the best player on the island. Like Pat Bishop with the Desperados, he rehearses his musicians from the Phase Two band for the upcoming Panorama. No sheet music. All the tunes are in their heads and fingertips. Uh, we're self-taught. I'm self-taught. I cannot read or write music. Right? Since I was a little kid, about four years old, 
I've been playing the instrument. As a matter of fact, I was born in a yard, what they call a pan yard, where they had a steel band, and my house was next door. And, you know, I grew up with this and developed myself as a ranger. When you're an arranger, you have to work out variations on a given theme. Bugsy Sharp's genius is that he can go on improvising forever. Normally when I go to the Panya to arrange these bands on them, I, I don't go with any idea. I don't have nothing time my hair. I know I have to go and do work. I go in the yard and I work with vibe, vibration from the from the guys also, you know. And I try to picture the occasion we are going to play for. You know, so I can see that occasion and picture how the public will be reacting because they play a lot they play a lot a good part in, in, in making uh, uh, the success of a, a band performance. During the three days of carnival, 20 bands and 2,000 musicians parade through the streets. Up on the stage, they're competing for the year's title. The whole island is there. Trinidad is dancing to the sound of steel drums. All of that, that, um, that carnival music that goes into the panorama competition, they're, they're extended pieces of quite complicated music. And we have, say, a hundred such pieces of music a year from one little island, and it's lost. Next year, it's all new again. The steel drums are the heart of the carnival. All day and all night, they give the crowd its rhythm and its life. It's like an ocean of people. It's like a sea. The band coming through the center is like a huge musical ship. And in the heart of, of, of the ship, you, you have these guys stoking the fire, keeping the coals inside the engine room. In other words, the rhythm section is there carrying the band along because once the rhythm section falls off, you can be the greatest steel band on the earth. Somehow the music just dies because somewhere the, the rhythm has died, the, 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 you know, and um, once these guys, these guys can go all day, that's knocking this, keeping this rhythm. And once that is there, the people move. The players get their inspiration to play what they have to play. This 
This year, the Renegades have won the title, coming in ahead of Bugsy Sharp and the Desperados. Winners and losers all have one thing in common. Music. Their music. And their music is unique. It is a very musical. Musical Island is not at all silent. It doesn't understand silence.